Hello, everyone. We are so excited to be joining you here. We're actually in Chesapeake, Virginia, but this video is going to be shared all across our country and around the world. So we are here today um, introducing you to Young Living and the Everyday Oils Collection. And first and foremost, I want to introduce you to um, someone that I have the honor and privilege of mm -hmm. co-teaching with and actually doing life with. And it's just so exciting to be on this journey together. So I want to introduce you to um, Rachel Rhodes. Rachel's a gold leader on our team. And what that means is that she's actually achieved a, one of our highest ranking leadership positions in about a year, actually less than a year, she was able to do that. And she is able to do that and also manage a home with two very busy little girls and a husband that is working constantly and managing her household, doing that. And she's a leader in our community and in her church and in her life and just has tons of influence. And it's, it's so exciting to be with her. Um, and she definitely is someone that inspires me. So glad to be teaching with her and, and excited if you get to meet her through this video or in person one day. And then, so I get the privilege of introducing Ashley. So Ashley is the one that introduced me to oils, and she is actually our platinum leader, which is the top 2% in the company. It might even be less than that, but she has members across the country and a really strong localized team where she offers support and online support, as well as running a household with three small kids under the age of four, yeah. and a husband who serves in the military, thank you. I know it's hard work. Um, so he's, you know, serving deployments and she is just doing an excellent job of educating and leading. And I am privileged to be here teaching with her. So you guys are going to learn so much from Ashley today. And I'm excited that we get to share these oils with you. Thank you for the mm -hmm. very, very kind introduction. Um, just so you know, I am holding the script, and I think that's really important for everyone. Actually, make sure you can see that. For everyone on here to see, and that's to keep me on track because I love to share, and I probably will talk too much. We don't. We want to be courteous of your time, but it's also because I want you to know that sharing this amazing, these amazing oils, we have tools for you to be able to do that, and it's not just something that we have gone through and learned ourselves, but it's something that you are welcome to be part of. So, why are you here tonight? Are you here tonight to get rid of toxins in your home? Are you here tonight? to maybe get yourself living vibrantly healthy in your fitness routine or in your beauty routine or getting rid of maybe some things you use during seasonal change. Why are you here? Are you here for someone else? Is there a loved one that could benefit? I want you to think about your goals for this class because everyone who's hearing my voice, you will have a reason that you clicked on this video and there's a reason that you're going to be watching it. So I want you to also thank the person that sent it to you because they care immensely about you and your family and your well-being. And we're here to talk about vibrant wellness. I love to say that up front because I don't know about you guys. All I know is I want to wake up and be amazing in the morning. And, <laughs> you know, some days I feel like that, some days I don't. But the point is, we're going to talk about being above the wellness line and living a life of vibrant wellness. And that means you waking up every day and looking for improvement. So we're not talking about sick care. You won't hear um, allergies, asthma, and cancer here. That's not what we're talking about. Guys, we're talking about waking up and feeling like every day you can improve upon your level of health. Mm -hmm. So we are going to stay above the wellness line. What that means every day when you wake up, how you feel, how you exist, how you are in your normal personal state, getting better than that. Not what happens when you drop below the wellness line and you are um, you know, in the business of sick care. It's not what we're about. I am also not a doctor. I'm not here. Um, Rachel isn't either. <laughs> so we're not here to diagnose, treat, prescribe, or cure anything. We are here for education and informational purposes only. And this will be an FDA compliant class. So the FDA um, does tell us, you know, what we cannot, can and cannot talk about as far as, you know, we are, again, are not licensed healthcare practitioners, but we can give you information and stories on how we've used them in our home. So please be aware of those things and be aware that this information, again, is are things that we're, we're hoping you can take and you can research more on your own um, once you get your kit in your hands and you can, of course, be your own health advocate because the best healthcare is self-care. Mm -hmm. So we want you to take care of yourself. First, your family second, right? And then spread the love of, you know, what you're learning third. So for whatever reason it is that you thought of that you're here, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I promise it's going to be an enriching class and it's going to last you under an hour. We promise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are Young Living Essential Oils? What are they? 
So for me, I know that nature um, has provided us with everything we need. God designed the earth and designed plants in a way that we can not only live harmoniously with them, but we actually use them to survive. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, we need oxygen to survive, and we need a lot of these plant materials to make our cells healthy, to make our body systems healthy, and it's pretty incredible that they were designed on purpose for a purpose. Mm -hmm. So what they actually are, um, they've been around, first of all, for thousands and thousands of years. We're talking biblical references. There are over 600, and then pre-biblical—I mean, biblical times. Babylonian tablets, Egypt, Egyptian hieroglyphs, used for therapeutic reasons for thousands of years. So, what they actually are is they are the lifeblood of the plant. They are the aromatic essence of the plant. If you're just smelling them, and what they actually do in the plant are three very simple jobs. Um, you'll probably remember this because it's something that ever since I've kind of learned it or come up with it or whatever, it's something I always think of when I look at a tree or I look at grass and I look at what, can be, what it can be used for. In the plant, the job of the essential oil is to heal, restore, and protect. That is the job in nature by God's design in the plant. When you use them in your body or on your body, they do the same three things in your body that they do in that plant. So again, the job of the plant is heal, restore, protect. Um, and I don't know about y'all, but I want that in my body. Mm -hmm. I definitely do. So they are made from trees, shrubs, herbs, grasses, resins, and even flowers. They're greaseless. They're not like other oils. They are actually also going to be um, something that can evaporate, not like a fatty oil or a carrier oil, which Rachel will talk more about. They are also something that's a protective mechanism in a plant. I just kind of mentioned that, but I want you to think about what that means in your body because that's something that I know when I talk about immunity and about um, even beauty, all that stuff, it really is a, is a protective mechanism. Young Living is the oldest and most trusted essential oil company in the world. Pretty phenomenal. And right now we're actually over a billion dollar company um, with 3 million members. So definitely something that's been around for a long time and that is able to, you know, have some credibility when we look at the marketplace and how long we've been around. We also have over 25 years of experience as an established company and well over that when it comes to, um, I'm going to have to stop and start over. My mom's at the door and the stupid bag is sitting there. I'm going to cry. Okay. No, the bag's right there. The bag's right there. Like that bag right there. This is awful. I am the worst daughter ever. I really don't think so. I mean, it's clear. Okay, so we're not going to stop recording because I have a husband, and I'm pretty sure you do too, that can edit the YouTube video. They just cut out. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that same sentence again so it can be. Okay, that's what we're going to do because that was so good. That was so good. Yeah, I know. So okay, I'm keep going. going. I'm not letting you. <laughs> Stay no, 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 Young Living is the oldest, most respected essential oil company in the world. And we're actually a billion dollar company with 3 million members. So that's a strong support network. And we have over 25 plus years um, of research and experience. And our founder, Gary Young, is a father of modern distillation. You know, he has a whole book about his journey and how he's learned the art of distillation. So it's something for me that I just feel so assured and excited to be part of this movement. And be part of this company. I personally advocate knowing thy farmer. And with Young Living, we have a seed to seal guarantee. If you want to go visit the website, seed to seal.com, he will discover that, you know, our company not only cares about what happens to the plant once we basically harvest it and distill it and bottle it, we care about where, where the seed comes from. Mm -hmm. If you think about how important that is in human development and about that seed, um, think about that also with your garden and where you get that plant material to go ahead and grow and eat and feed your family and get that nourishment. 
that is so important. So our founder, you know, brought lavender over from France and his boot in the 1980s and planted it here. And that was the first time where Young Living really had our own farms. And now we have 10 around the world. And it's just absolutely amazing. I was able to be part of the winter harvest in Idaho. Such a blessing to be part of that. Where I went through and it cut down the trees, put them in the chipper, take, took the plant material, stomped it down in the dis dis distillation chamber. And then I actually even got to see how the oil evaporated, condensated, dripped down, produced a liter of precious essential oil that's, you know, wonderful for respiratory health and wonderful for easing some discomfort. That precious oil, I bottled my own and took it home. Um, Rachel and I have been part of lavender and juniper harvest and mm -hmm. um, a leggy lang in Ecuador have been there and just amazing what has happened by being able to experience it. Um, I was completely awe inspired and in looking at God's amazing work and what he does and how he created this for us to use when I really got to be part of that harvest. And it really shows you the pedigree and commitment to excellence of young living because we have seen firsthand that it takes it takes eight years to be trained to know the, you know, the sound when something's ready in the, distill, the distilling chamber. And it also is very labor intensive. We even have a, a plant called Melissa that she, we say she, <laughs> never touches the ground. Like the plant never touches the soil. That is crazy. And Rachel's going to get to be part of that this year. Yeah. Which is pretty amazing. That That's harvest. Good. Um, and it is, it is just remarkable to be able to do that. The last thing I want to mention when looking at quality and purity, it's really important that you don't buy oils that say things like do not ingest. Um, our oils, Rachel's going to talk about this, we're able to ingest them because they're made from plants. And on most plants we can eat, very simple. They shouldn't have expiration dates. Okay, mm -hmm. kind of important to know that because they, they, plants don't expire. Okay, um, I'm saying this slowly because I want you to, to breathe this thing. This is something that I really had to understand with the difference between Young Living and other essential oils. And then the last thing with them is when they have things on the back that say for aromatic use only, I'm not talking about to do not ingest, but it's aromatic use only and you can't use them on your skin. Our skin is our largest organ and we absorb mm -hmm. everything into our bodies in 26 seconds. Into the bloodstream. And even into our spinal cord, nervous system, and brain, mm -hmm. because they do cross the blood-brain barrier. Um, we're not going to give you a lot of science here, but there is a lot of science behind it. The last picture I want you to make is when we talk about things being affected at the cellular level, like Rachel's going to speak about. That means they literally can penetrate your cell membrane. So they can go into your cell membrane through the cell receptor sites, mm -hmm. and they can actually affect change at the cellular level. They can help antioxidants go in, help free radicals go out. And that is remarkable. That's because one drop contains 40 million trillion molecules. It's ridiculous. It's mind blowing. So now I'm going to let you go ahead and learn from Rachel how to use these oils. And then we're going to talk to you about the oils that come in this amazing premium starter mm -hmm. kit. But I want you to leave with this picture of the company of Young Living that I would never trust any other company um, for my family's health and wellness. And that's why we teach these classes. That's why you're here learning. Um, it's a company you can trust. It's also a process you can trust. That website was cdcl.com if you missed it earlier. So now I'm going to let Rachel go ahead. Thank you, Ashley. And I love what she talked about with the transparency of the company. So not only were we a part of those harvests, but you can be too. So it's open to members, guys. You can go to the farms. You can be a part of that. You can watch oils being distilled. And that's super important. I mean, I know Ashley always uses an example of with her iPhone, yeah. right? <laughs> I love it. Was she allowed to be part of that process? No. <laughs> but this is something that you're consuming, that you're going to be putting on your children. And if it affects you at a cellular level, you don't want to be putting junk on yes. yourselves or your children. So it's very important, like she said, to know your farmer. Okay? So I'm going to talk about the three different ways that you use the essential oils. And the first way is topically, and Ashley kind of touched on that. Your skin is your largest organ. So you can use the essential oils directly on your skin, um, or diluted, or she just used, let's see, what is that? A drop of lavender. A drop of lavender. And your skin will absorb these at a very rapid rate, and that is because the molecular structure is so small, right? So one drop, 40 million trillion molecules. That means that it can sit, hit every cell in your body in a matter of minutes, which is insane. And it also, like she said, can penetrate the cell wall. It's lipid soluble, which is remarkable. 
Because the oils are so concentrated, you only need a couple drops. And we'll talk about that a little bit when we get into the oils and talk about what each oil does. So topically, if you're having any areas of discomfort on your body, so whether that's your head, your back, your legs, over your abdomen, you can apply the oils directly to those areas. You're also gonna hear about oilers or people using essential oils on the bottoms of their feet. And that is because the bottoms of your feet have some of the largest pores on your body. I, this was kind of mind blowing to me. <laughs> When I think about the bottoms of my feet, I don't really think about large pores. I think about rough, scaly skin. But believe it or not, whatever comes in contact with the bottoms of your feet, your feet drink. I mean, think about how many times you may have stood in your bathtub, cleaning your bathtub with toxic chemicals barefoot. I did it. So that's what I, before I started to become more toxin-free, I did that, and my body was drinking in those chemicals. So, putting essential oils on the bottoms of your feet, another reason is because there's, I don't know if you're re familiar with Vitaflex points or reflexology, but there's areas on the bottoms of your feet, and every area is attached or, um, is that the right word? Yeah, attached to, yeah. correlates, I'm yeah. sorry. You're That's fine. my approach. <laughs> Correlate, correlates to different organ systems in your body. So when we talk about restful sleep or relaxation, I always recommend the bottom of the big toe because that is the vitaflex point for your brain. Mm -hmm. And there are uh, different graphics that you can find so you can learn how to do this. So that's gonna be topically. The second way, do you have anything else to add for that? And so when you use it topically, if you don't wanna use it neat or via vitaflex mm -hmm. points, you would dilute it with a carrier oil. So when you dilute it with a carrier oil, um, that's going to be a fatty oil. That's going to be an oil like coconut, olive, jojoba, sweet almond. But that would mean that you're do, trying to spread over a larger area, not diluting the effectiveness or trying to act as a time release. Um, but you would use it neat or diluted. And I'm sorry if that's um, confusing to you because the terminology is a little weird. But when we say diluted, we're not talking with water because that's usually people think yes. we're talking glad that you yeah, that. with a carrier oil. And that would be to spread over a larger surface or if you pre-make a roll-on or a cream or anything like that. Yeah, and I'll get a little bit more in depth with carrier oils, but that's good. I'm glad you touched on that. The second way is going to be inhalation. Um, so inhalation, I just want you guys to think about this and kind of what you're surrounded with daily is a direct, your nose is a direct gateway to your brain. So everything you inhale is going directly into your brain, which can be a little scary if you think about it. And not only is it affecting your brain, whatever you're inhaling, but it's lungs and it affects your blood system or your blood blood circulate I'm sorry bloodstream um, so what are you inhaling think about it what are you inhaling I love the kit so I'll start with this this is what we call a diffuser so this is a really fantastic way of getting the essential oils into the air for you and your family and anybody in your home to breathe them in and basically it's just you put water you add your essential oils and it puts out a mist and the oils and the molecules stay suspended in the air so that you can inhale them and you can actually affect a room with your essential oils. So whatever it may be, if it's lavender and you want to relax the room, you want to set a mood, or if it's purifying the air, if you never know what people bring into your home, <laughs> what they're coughing into the air. So this is a fabulous way of basically covering a large surface area, affecting lots of people without having to apply oils to everyone topically. The second way with inhalation, you can put oils directly in the palms of your hand, cup, cup up over your nose and your mouth and inhale deeply. And why is this important or how does this affect your brain? Well, anything that you inhale goes directly, it hits the limbic area of your brain, which is where your emotions are housed. So think about how you feel when you smell something that reminds you of your grandmother. So for me, it's mothballs. If I smell mothballs, it makes me want to cry. It's kind of weird, it reminds me of my grandmother. Or that smell of bacon and coffee in the morning. It just makes you smell good. What's yours? Um, I love to smell. So I love clean smelling laundry that I didn't do. Um, <laughs> so I'm not being funny. But I also I really actually like floral scents. So I like when I smell joy or those oils that smell like it because it reminds me of my grandmother. She has roses all around her house um, in general. But for me, I also love the smell. My husband, I don't remember what he wore before. He wore a shoe dry mm. and stress away. But that's what he smells like. And it's like an association that I immediately, if any other man has it on, I like feel like it smells like him. Um, it's pretty neat. And it's better than, I mean, I want Rachel to tell us about 
Mm -hmm. Some of the toxic stuff that she probably used to smell me too. So, you know, like she was saying, your sense of smell is your strongest memory recall. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, But as far as fragrances are concerned, this is why you want to start using your essential oils for inhalation purposes. Because if you think about things in your home, How many of you have artificial fragrances of some capacity in your home? So that may be candles, it may be plug-ins, it may be tarp burners, even artificial fragrances in like trash bags and um, laundry detergent. It's there. It's everywhere. Um, So in studying those, about 75% of households nationwide have artificial fragrances. The problem with that is if you start to take those ingredients apart and those chemicals apart, the number one ingredient in these artificial fragrances is formaldehyde. And formaldehyde is actually considered as a carcinogen, which is crazy. That's what you're breathing in. So just really think about that. Um, I've actually had people that at our classes that have gone home and unplugged their plugins and removed these things from their home and literally saw night and day in their children's breathing. You know, if they had head discomfort or all sorts of things that they actually saw cleared up just from removing these fragrances. So these are things, the oils are something you want to inhale. It's going to help with your emotions, great emotional balance. It helps with respiratory um, it can help with even immunity, all sorts of things. Um, anything you want to tie in with that? Once you get using your diffuser, I will say this. You know, we didn't really think we would be replacing candles. It wasn't anything to do with all we got oils. And we loved diffusing so much that we just kind of found it almost repulsive, to be honest, to have any kind of artificial fragrance from the onset. Um, and you can make, and we're not going to touch on a bunch of recipes here, but you will be able to once you get mm-hmm. our usage groups. You can make your house smell amazing with oils. Yeah. So don't think here we're not like that crazy that we're saying ditch everything and then just have like nothing smell good. We just want you to think about the dangers really of that artificial fragrance. So Rachel, that was great information. It's something I think a lot of us didn't, I honestly didn't know it until I started um, learning about oils. Yeah. And it can be a little uncomfortable to talk about, but I guess I kind of just feel like as you start to switch things over, whether it's slowly or immediate um, or lots of things in your home, you are, you're going to notice a difference in the way you feel. You just are. Mm -hmm. Um, So just keep that in mind with inhalation. I love to place the diffuser next to my bed at night. You can put it in, you know, a large area, wherever your family is for the evening. It's really effective in that manner as well. Third way of using your oils is ingesting. So like Ashley said, I would only ever recommend ingesting Young Living Essential Oils because we know their value, we know their therapeutic grade, we know that they are batch tested multiple times, and we know that they are good for us and that they benefit us in that way. So there's several ways you can ingest. One of my favorite ways is putting them in honey. So if I need a little immune boost, if I feel like I might be slipping below the wellness line, I will put a couple drops of thieves, we'll talk about that in a second, and a teaspoon of honey. I also love, there's something called veggie capsules that Young Living sells, and they're like empty, empty pills, essentially, and you can create your own oily combo. So whatever that may be, whether it's for digestive support or to help you through the season, seasonal changes, or there's all sorts of things that you could use. I know my husband makes um, a great kind of uh, pill for uh, appetite. I'm sure you guys are all going to be messaging me after that one, but <laughs> he loves it, and he can freeze them, and he takes one every day. So that's a really great way of ingesting. You can also cook with them. Ashley and I love to cook with the oils. It's great because I don't have this massive herb garden in my yard all year long, and it doesn't require much. So I can just take one drop of oregano or one drop of basil and put it in my spaghetti sauce or lemon in your hummus. Uh, You can drink citrus oils in your water. For our classes, we like to do peppermint brownies. It's really, it's literally endless. I mean, I'm constantly experimenting. So that's a really great great way of helping with your body systems. And we'll talk about that when we go through each oil. Did you have anything to add for that? It's great. Okay, so we're gonna talk safety. There's two areas that we do not recommend using your essential oils, and that's directly in your ear canal and in your eye. So when we say directly, we mean, <laughs> really sorry, <laughs> dumping in your ear and dumping in your eye or dropping in your eye. You can still use the oils to affect these areas. You would just 
you wouldn't be dropping them in. So when we talk about using oils for the ears, you apply, do you want to do a demo? Sure. <laughs> Say I was putting some on, I would put it all around the ear. Are you all seeing me? Mm -hmm. Down the eustachian tubes, even right around here. Mm -hmm. Just not in there. That's it. Mm -hmm. Since y'all are watching this, we don't need to, that's yeah, it. That's it. What about the eye? So the eye, I like to, right on the bridge of the nose here, around, if you can feel the occipital, I don't, bone, bone right? yeah, ridge, something. I don't know, right around here. I like to put it right around here, and we'll talk about that. I love lavender for that purpose, but, um, and it will still affect the eye in a positive way, which is amazing. So you, those are the two areas. The other two places that most people think you cannot use them, that honestly, guys, rectally and vaginally. So don't, don't fast forward through this part if it makes you uncomfortable. Rectally is probably one of the top ways of getting the oils to your lungs quickly. And if you think about the skin down there, it's a hundred percent absorption rate. So people can use um, syringes or I mean, think about suppositories. suppositories. Think about the people who can't swallow pills, guys. There's a high percentage of people that can't do that. Um, and then vaginally. So I'll just touch on this very briefly. Women, how many products do you? maybe used down there. I encourage you to look at the ingredients. That is our most sensitive area. What are we putting on there? What are we absorbing into our bodies? So essential oils, we have oils for all of those products as well to switch over. Okay, so what is a carrier oil? She touched on this briefly when we talked about topical application. Essential oils are greaseless, so when you put them on your body, your body will absorb them very quickly. Carrier oil is going to be a fatty oil, so the molecules are going to be larger. That's going to be your coconut oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil. It's really your preference as to which uh, carrier oil you prefer. Um, and they actually are used to carry the essential oil. So if we're using oils on Ashley's back, if she needs some support in her back, or <laughs> I'm not going to just take pan away, for instance, and dump it all over her back. Now, there might be some instances where you may want to, want it directly, you want it, you know, right then. You would just take a little bit of carrier oil in the palm of your hand, put a couple drops, rub it around to activate the molecules three times clockwise, and then spread it all over your back, and it helps to carry it. It does not decrease the effectiveness of the oil. It actually acts as a time release, okay? So this is also great for children. I always like to dilute with my children. Again, that's on everyone's comfort level. And we'll talk about lavender. Um, that's a very mild oil that I will use need on my children. But again, that's up to you and your comfort level. But we also will use a carrier oil for hot oils. So peppermint can be a little warm on the skin for some people. So I always recommend diluting first before you apply topically, before you know how your skin's going to respond. Okay? And another way of using carrier oils, if you do get essential oils in your eye, do not use water because water and oils do not mix. <laughs> You're going to want to use a carrier oil or something fatty. So even if it's just milk or butter that you have access to if you're in public, and you just rinse your eye out. And it literally, I mean, it, it right away, right away it helps. Yeah. My son got, the other day, he was rubbing, he was rubbing thieves into his feet before school, and he got it in his eye, and it was actually a little funny because, you know, he didn't want to put the carrier oil in there. So we just took a paper towel, and he used a little bit of coconut oil, and it came right out. Mm -hmm. So it, it's very quick. Um, yeah. And this doesn't happen often. That's why I always laugh when we talk about this. Because I'm like, some people are like all the time. But for me, <laughs> it's usually like my kids or my husband. Yeah. <laughs> and if you find that you put an oil on your skin and your skin might be a little red, even if you have diluted it, you just add more carrot oil on top. Okay? Um, the other great thing about carrot oils, it helps to stretch your dollar when it comes to essential oils. So if you're using something daily, I like to use, um, I like my face cream, for instance. So if I don't want to dump just pure lavender on my face every day, I can make a cream and that will stretch my dollar and stretch yes. the lavender. So that's great to remember. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the starter kit. And Young Living basically created this kit, this, the staples of the oil. So these are uh, literally probably thousands of uses just in these 11 oils. Think about your kitchen, olive oil, salt, pepper. That's what these are going to be to your home all the ways to use the oils that we're gonna talk about here. So I will let Ashley go quickly, um, just talk about the starter kit and then we'll get started with each oil. Sure, so we're just gonna go ahead and start with lavender. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna start with lavender first. And lavender is, 
an amazing oil mm -hmm. for rest and relaxation. We've already kind of mentioned a few uses for it, but one of my favorite uses is during bath time, bedtime. I like to add it to a cup of Epsom salts. You always want to add, um, when you're, you're using a bath and essential oils, you want to add them to a substance like Epsom salts to help with relaxation and magnesium. But you want to do that so they don't just float on top of the water. I love to make a linen spray, and um, you can also just add some to your hands and put it right over your pillow or sheets. And I love to use it really, again, as Rachel was saying, on the bottom of the feet for my kids for restful sleep and then, of course, in the diffuser. So that's the number one way. And we're going to try to only give you three ways for each oil, which is really hard, but rest and relaxation is my first one. The next one that I would say I love with, with lavender is I actually love to use it in my diaper bag and mm -hmm. in my purse. Just occasionally, maybe sometimes, my children fall. Mm -hmm. You know, by my stove, I actually like to keep, I mean, keep lavender because occasionally there's things that are hot. So I want you to think about all the ways you could use it for you know, both of those scenarios. And I have multiple bottles of lavender because quite honestly, mm -hmm. it just makes life easier. It is a Swiss Army knife. You can use it for anything. There's a lot of sun in the summer. It's kind of amazing that that happens. <laughs> there just tends to be a lot of sun. So <laughs> lavender is great when you have had a lot of sun. Lavender is also great before you have a lot of sun great for your skin in general. So these are, are general ways to use it. Um, thousands of things that you can make from it. It is the oil that's the go-to when you first get your kit. So play with this one, have a bath, diffuse, roll on for restful sleep. And the other thing with it, when she was saying her face cream, it's always a main ingredient, in every skincare mm -hmm. product that you're going to make for yourself and for your home. Okay. So I'll talk about peppermint. Mm -hmm. So my first class that I went to with Ashley, when she talked about peppermint, I mean, I feel like the rest of the class was a blur for me because <laughs> I um, was looking for digestive support. And when you think about peppermint, anybody that drinks peppermint tea for digestive support, one drop of, a, of Young Living essential oil, peppermint, is equivalent to 26 cups of peppermint tea. 26 cups. It's crazy. So I literally was, I mean, like every week I went to the store, I always had peppermint tea in my closet. So when she said that, I mean, it was like, drop the mic. I mean, I could. So I will put a drop of this. You could put it in your water in the morning. Even if you put it with your lemon in the water, you could put it in your coffee. Um, you could put it directly on your tongue. Or sometimes if I'm having a day where I'm struggling a little bit, I will actually put it in a capsule. So it's done, right? Make your own little oily capsule. I also love to cook with peppermint. So we make great peppermint brownies around the holidays. You could do hot chocolate. Um, we have done all sorts of recipes, I believe, with, with the yes. peppermint. Um, did you have any? Love a drop on my tongue before oh, I yes. Out? Helps with alertness, clarity, focus. I just love a drop on my tongue. So there's also a peppermint, a peppermint that's not a vitality. Um, so you can use that one to diffuse and help with those issues, um, focus, concentration, clarity. Um, and you can also use it a lot topically. I love it topically when it's hot outside or when it's not hot outside and I magically am somehow still hot or my kids are some, somehow still hot. So that um, in the kit, you do get the vitality, which you would be using for internal usage of all the ways that you know, we mentioned, but you can buy that peppermint to use. Um, your diffuser or on your skin. Um, and then, uh, like she said, when she was talking about the other peppermint, um, I love for any occasional head head um, pressure, I'll put directly in my head. This is my first go-to. Love awesome. it for that. Okay. Our next one is going to be lemon. So lemon is actually Rachel's favorite oil, so I just feel like I'm doing a disservice talking about uh, it, but I'll be quick. Maybe I'll be quick, quick with this one. Um, lemon, we mentioned in your water. You put it in your water, you're always going to use glass or stainless steel, and that's because it literally will eat petrochemicals. So you don't want that junk on your cells, want to get rid of it. Um, it's also cold pressed from the rind, so don't have to worry about any acidity. Um, if you're someone who likes fresh lemons, you'll save a lot of money by using a drop or two of this a day. I also love lemon in, with honey to make it its own tea. I don't add a tea bag, just with lemon and honey um, in hot water. And it's great for cooking and flavoring baked goods especially, and also seafood. I mean, I use lemon a ton, a ton, a ton in the kitchen. Um, it helps and aids in the body's natural detox and support process. So let that let that really seep in. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason that's the reason we use this oil. Um, anything you want to add for it? Um, I like to. I mean, I like to drink this daily. So overall wellness on a cellular level, like she talked about, this is something that I try and have every day. Um, and as she mentioned, it's cold pressed from the rind of the fruit. So for someone that had digestive issues, I was kind of worried about the acidity. Um, but it's the rind. 
and the acidity is in the pulp. So the rind is actually where all the nutrients are, and it's really high in a constituent called D-limonene. So I encourage you to really research that. It's really great benefits. Yeah. So Copaiba, frankincense, lemon, daily wellness capsule right there, guys. Mm. Yes. The next one is frankincense. Oh, man. So she said lemon. I mean, lemon's my favorite. I think oh, okay, so. frankincense is probably a close second to that. I mean, these could all be my favorites in some way. Because <laughs> these are called the Everyday Oils Kit. And I literally, I mean, I don't know about you, but I use these like constantly. We're constantly replenishing our supply with these oils. Um, frankincense. So Young Living owns a frankincense tree farm in Oman in the Middle East, and it's pretty spectacular to hear kind of the process of this oil. So the trees are ancient. Some of them, I know I watched a video the other day where Gary Young was talking about one of the trees he was standing by was a thousand years old. I mean, that's amazing, and they're beautiful trees. But in order to harvest the resin from the tree, it has to be at least 40 years old. They're grown in rocks. So you couldn't grow frankincense trees in the United States, right? We want these plants to grow in their native environment, which is why we have this farm in Oman. You uh, score the tree and then you scrape the resin, and then the resin is cured in caves in Oman for six to 12 months. I mean, think about that process. Hand okay, scoring, no. <laughs> no, really. Um, and then they start the process of the oil. So it's amazing, and I'm sure you've heard of frankincense um, in the Bible. So in the Bible, essential oils are referenced, I think, over 900 times. And frankincense was one of the first, um, well, it's the first essential oil, along with myrrh, that was brought to baby Jesus. And so in studying that, why, why was that delivered? And it's because it was reserved for royalty. So anyone outside of royalty that had possession of frankincense was put to death because it's that precious. Mm -hmm. And that was even up till as of what, the 80s? Yeah. It's very highly sought after. So why is it precious? So I love this oil. And like, I love how Ashley always talks about it's a very hot, highly oxygenating oil, which is going to be phenomenal for your cells. So it helps to maintain those cells and helps to maintain normal cells. So if you think about cells turning abnormal and what that looks like, this is just an overall a great oil to apply daily. Um, I apply it to my family every day. Mm -hmm. Everyone in my family gets frankincense in some capacity every day. It's actually in my face cream. So that's how I, I apply it daily. It's part of my face cream, and that is because it is considered a facelift in a bottle. It's amazing. Yeah, and actually, it talks about how she used it. Yeah, um, it has a visual tightening effect on your skin, so I would just use a drop. Honestly, before I made a face serum, I would just use a drop neat in the areas where I felt like I needed that visual tightening effect because, you know, I'm not going to act like I'm, I'm really old, but <laughs> we all need anti-aging, and especially in a natural form. There's so many products yes. on the market that are natural. Um, and then I think, I'm pretty sure Rachel has the last way that you could use it pretty well out of our, our three views of your kids. Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, my daughter occasionally in the middle of the night will wake up with a tickle in her throat, and um, this has kind of been my saving grace. I love to apply topically to her neck and her throat and upper back. It just helps um, with that breathing and I would encourage you to try it for that and so I will use it for that but like I said I also use it daily for calming so it's great on my I use it on my newborn and it helped to really this was like her oil so in talking about the oils I just want to touch on this briefly and then we will move forward everybody has a different body constitution so everybody will respond differently to the oil so yes lavender overall we recognize that as helping your body to relax but to what degree varies from person to person so i tried lavender on her but she responded best to frankincense my husband responds better to lavender so it's just different that's why we encourage you to be your own health advocate and to use your oils because that's how you're going to determine what's best for you in your body and then observe how they are on your children so great great for um calming and emotionally stabilizing it. yeah okay and our next oil is actually copaiba so copaiba is a vitality oil which means it's intended for internal usage um, i love to use this one internally um, it has a very very mild aroma it's actually tapped from trees in brazil kind of like maple syrup and why why i like it i don't really know all the reasons all i know is it keeps me healthy and it keeps friction down in my body friction in our bodies is just not a good thing it's not an it's not a natural state of our body. Um, I run marathons, so I probably cause a lot of friction that's unnecessary in my body. Um, but even if you're someone who doesn't do those physical activities, you probably have more friction.
stretching that you need. So I use a capsule um, when I'm in peak training times full of copaiba and take it internally. I also love to do it every day um, internally in my Ninja Red. I know Rachel uses it in her smoothie. We just love to have it in, our, in and on our bodies every day. Um, daily wellness capsule, as I was mentioning already, this is a component. Copaiba is going to be one that you want in your body every day. It's also a magnifier for the other oils. So if you're taking an oil internally, like maybe you're making tea with thieves and honey, you want to add Copaiba into it because it's going to magnify the effects of those immune boosting oils. So Copaiba, mild effect. It's also great if you ever are just using it internal on your mouth. I know that my kids sometimes, mm -hmm. especially during the times before they had teeth, it's kind of amazing. I would use Copaiba right on their gums and it really tended to help. Um, love this oil. So you're going to find some phenomenal uses for it and it tastes, it tastes good because it's mild when you use it. So the next one I'm going to talk about is RC. And the one thing I wanted to, did we talk about blends yet? No. Yeah. This is the first blend. Sorry. So this is, um, RC is actually a blend of several different oils and it has, if you can smell it, you can't, but it smells like eucalyptus and it has several different species of eucalyptus in it. I love to use RC to make my own chest rub. So I'll make my own chest rub with, um, coconut oil and some beeswax and we just put it on the bottoms of our feet and on our chest great for just helping with that breathing i know ashley before she works out she's a runner especially in cold weather she'll apply it to really open her lungs and just to help with with that breathing do you have anything else for rc spa like atmosphere that's yes. all i think of when i diffuse rc it smells amazing um so we're going to go back and talk about really i think it's our second to last Vitality oil, but Thieves is our next oil, and this is probably our most popular oil from Young Living. And I don't know about y'all, but in the winter months, we need all the wellness we can get around here because you know, with little kids and being part of communities where you're part of churches and play groups and the gym and school, all that stuff, like you're exposed to all kinds of things. So, Thieves is inspired by a legend from the 15th century where there were actually people out there who were thieves during the 15th century when there were a lot of things going on that left a lot of people not living. And they wondered how in the world these dudes stay alive. They were spice traders. Yeah, spice traders, exactly. That's what, that's what I thought. Um, so you should Google that, four thieves vinegar, four thieves. Yeah, just Google that and then figure out a little bit about it. It has cinnamon bark, clove, rosemary, lemon, eucalyptus, and this oil is modeled after that legend. It's a legend in our house for sure. We actually have an entire line of cleaners mm -hmm. and self-care products like toothpaste, mouthwash. It's amazing. We have laundry soap. We have dish soap. And all of this stuff is because this, again, this little bottle helps our wellness more than any other thing we've ever had in our home. Mm -hmm. We use it constantly for this vitality oil internally in a capsule on the back of my, either back of my throat, one drop, and honey, all the ways we talk about topical usage that Rachel mentioned, you use this oil and you want this in your body every single day. And those products around your home, guys, it's amazing what you can replace. And you can just get this fresh, you know, cinnamon is really what I think the dominant scent is. Um, don't you think so? Mm -hmm. It smells like Christmas in a bottle. It smells great. And when I have it on my clothes, it smells great. When I have it in my household cleaner, our household cleaner, you can use windows to floors. It's amazing and phenomenal and all over your counters, faucets. I mean, I use it on my kid's high chair. It is a, a great oil. I wanted to read this to you because I personally love it just by itself with honey and tea, but adding orange vitality oil to that will make you have really like a spicy tea that, um, is pretty similar to having a tea bag in there that you normally would have without the black tea component. And it's also wonderful as part of your wellness regimen to add again to your ninja red along with that Kobayeba, frankincense, lemon, whatever you're adding in there. Um, it is something that we also make again, just to mention it briefly, in a non vitality component so you could diffuse it mm -hmm. and roll it onto your body topically. But in the kit, you get this wonderful vitality oil that I can't wait for you to use with your family. Okay, so the next vitality oil we're going to talk about. So when she talks about vitality, that means for um, dietary consumption. And that is because we have to, in labeling the bottles, um, they're either labeled dietary or for topical use. Um, so there are oils, there is a digest for topical use um, in a different bottle that's non-vitality. So I just want to clarify that in real questions. So digest, this is a blend and it smells amazing. It's not really. Um, it may not smell that great, but I'm telling you guys, 
these oils don't expire, okay? So maybe you're not someone that needs digestive um, support on a daily, weekly, maybe monthly basis, but when you do, you're gonna want this oil, and these oils don't expire. So you're gonna wanna have this oil kind of in your, in your cabinet at all times. This is phenomenal for digestive support. Um, like I mentioned earlier, that's something that I really loved about Young Living is knowing that I can get that naturally. So I will put this in a capsule with peppermint, um, or I will just take this, I know Ashley mentioned, just directly on your tongue. Um, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> I still just put it in a capsule, um, but it's got fennel, ginger, anise, or anise, yeah. which is all great digestive oils. Okay. And then the next one that we're going to do, um, going out of order, I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> is <laughs> jumping around. Is purification. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like stinky stuff in my house. And all I know is this little oil right here gets rid of any stank. Literally, yeah, I know it's not grammatically correct. Any stank in your house. I mean, if you burn dinner, diffuse purification. If your kid's shoes are smelly, or your own shoes. Put purification, either cotton balls, stick them in there. I just like to put a drop right in the shoes. If your laundry is stinky, I have a lot of people who are athletic in my household and uniforms and all kinds of nasty stuff. I add a couple drops directly to my laundry detergent and also to my wool dryer balls to get a really fresh aroma going. I love it to literally just cleanse the environment of any nasty stuff that might be in there. Um, it's also wonderful. One that gives a neutral fragrance in your home. If you diffuse it, it's not going to be very strong. I love to make a spray all over everything. I actually love to use this on my dog. Yes. I love to make it used on my dog so she's not stinky, but I also don't like her to bring friends along from outside. Like, I don't want her friends. She might like them, but then she starts, you know, not really liking them. <laughs> so this helps her out a lot with that. And you know what? Outdoor annoyances in general are not fun. And... We use this with some water and some salt, spray it all over our bodies, and we use this to keep away those little, those little annoyances from us. So it's great to make um, for the summertime in that sense. And I just love this oil. I could keep talking about it, but I think I gave you plenty of uses for it. It has a citronella smell too. So it's awesome. The next one, um, we got two more and then we're done, is Panaway. So Panaway is also a blend and it has really great wintergreen smell, very kind of fresh smelling. And this is going to be, this is basically the one that sold my husband. Any areas of occasional discomfort, he had just come in from working out. I put it on his neck um, and then on his shoulder. And he just, he just came up to me within minutes and said, oh, I feel great. So maybe you're sleeping on something the wrong way. Maybe you need some help in your, your knees or your joints or even your back or your children if they're growing on their legs um, with a little bit of carrier oil. So Panaway is phenomenal for that and those occasional discomforts. Yeah, and this is the best part because you actually get this beautiful box um, that has a bonus oil. Who likes free stuff? Well, like we all like free stuff, but I mean, this oil is something that um, has really been great, especially with my husband. It's called Stress Away. Oh, smells like a margarita, and I feel like I'm on a beach sipping it when I smell this oil. My husband rolls it on constantly at work. Um, it's kind of like uh, I carry it with me at all times because three little kids in the grocery store. Mm -mm. Uh huh traffic, mm -hmm. waiting anywhere, bad phone call. Okay, you got, you got my drift here. Also helps me because sometimes I want to grab some nasty stuff to eat when I don't need to eat it, especially sugar. For some reason, it helps me with that. It's phenomenal. I love, love, love this oil. Love this oil. It's like paradise in a bottle, margarita in a bottle, all that stuff. You also get a roll-on fitment that you can pop on to any one of your wonderful oils. I love to pop it on Stress Away. Cause I need it with me all day long and put some on right now. Cause you know what? This is what it looks like. It's like a little roller fitment. So then you can literally just roll it directly on. It's pretty yeah. awesome. And then I'm going to let Rachel tell you about another cool thing that you get in the kit um, that we both have every day. So you get two little two, two ounce packets of Ninja Red. So Ninja Red and I really strongly encourage that you guys research this to the nines because it is fabulous and it's something that both her and I, um, everyone in our family drinks this daily. It's phenomenal for overall wellness and it's actually made from the Ninja wolf berry from the Ninja province in China. And Gary Young was in that area of the world researching vitality and longevity in the people there because they actually have, they're very healthy and they have a long lifespan. Um, so in researching that, he researched this wolfberry and it's 
very high on the antioxidant or the ORAC chart. Um, so it's a puree. It also has some of Young Living citrus essential oils, including a yuzu oil that you cannot get outside outside of this product. It's got um, pomegranate and acerola cherry and what else am I leaving out? All kinds of great stuff yes. that'll make you um, just overall wellness and you have to try it and I promise you, you will see a difference in your overall health. Yes, it's awesome. The next thing are these little bottles. So this is really awesome if you wanna share. When we first got our kits, we, I was just giving people the whole bottle mm -hmm. and telling them to use 10 drops. So these hold about 30 <laughs> drops. This is great if you wanna lend your mom an oil um, or if you wanna travel with them. So they provide you with that. I'll let you talk about the... Sure, and you get cards with it just to, to pop on when you give someone a sample. You don't have to know much about Panaway. You just give them this card and they will know exactly how it works. And then you get little sample sachets that are one to two drop. Great for travel, great for mailing to a friend, but again, you're not gonna get a large amount. So if you're considering someone taking a bath with this, it's like one drop of lavender. So you probably should give them some more. Um, out of curiosity, just by you know, raising your hand or messaging one of us or messaging the person that sent you, how many of you guys think that you can use one or more of these oils? What about three or more of these oils? Five or more? I mean, I know I can see myself, and I do every day use mm -hmm. probably eight or so of these oils. That's why it's called the Everyday Oils Kit. And they can be used to enhance your fitness program, detoxification process, um, your home, your office, your kids, yourself. And the next step is for you to try the oils and for you to tell us how they worked in your body. And as a, as a point for you all to know, my oils and supplements and household products and Rachel's are paid for every month. They're paid for every month. And that's because our, our company is set up to provide income and provide you with the absolute best self-care by getting you basically compensated with free products and money for sharing something you love. 93% of us go with the recommendations of our friends and it's something that's been amazing because they've worked for our families and I've gotten a check in the mail every month and I've also gotten a box in the mail that has incredible value. It's my favorite time basically of the month to have that essential rewards order. It's like Stitch Fix or Birch Box. They send you something every month only with our program with Young Living, you actually can choose the products, choose the date, and they pay you back in points that go towards free product. It's a little bit ridiculous. I mean, I get 20% back at this point, and I couldn't be more excited about it, and I also get flat rate shipping. So here today, there are three types of people that are watching this video, and I'm going to tell you about them and also about how to purchase this. This starter kit is only $160, and it's a $322 retail value. You get the diffuser. You get a home or dew drop diffuser for that price and included in the kit of $160. This is worth about $100 in and of itself for retail. Then you get all 11 of these oils plus the things we showed you in the box. So it's an incredible value, and I was so happy I got this because I got to experience things on and in my body that I never would have chosen um, one at a time. And what you also get is a wholesale membership. So that's 24% um, from here on out when you order, which is pretty yeah, awesome. Forever. Mm -hmm. um, and to keep your account active, you don't have to do that monthly program and you just have to spend $50 a year to keep your online account active. And once you use the oils, you'll discover that that's a bottle of thieves and purification. And you're going to want to have those in your home um, all the time. So the first type of person that we're going to talk about today is someone who came here and you probably came to this video or you came into you know, a home with other people watching this video because you're actually here not only for yourself, but you have a reason that you want to change the world of this business. You're looking for a way to impact your family financially. You're looking for a way to really start something real in your life. And what you would do right now if you're one of those people is get with the person that came to I mean, came in this, excuse me, introduced this video, and you're gonna go ahead and enroll at the senior star level. That means you're going to buy five star, excuse me, four star kits, and you're gonna go ahead and get paid on levels three and four today. Um, that's amazing. We're so excited for you to do that. Welcome to our team. Um, the next type of person is a type two person, and what you would be is someone who's sitting here right now saying, I know four people outside of myself that need this stuff in their hands today. So we would go ahead and have you enroll the star kit, and what that is, is that's five premium starter kits, one for you, and then four for you to go ahead and schedule to have a time to share with your family and friends and get those kits in their hands today. 
So we're happy to help you do that and help you join our community to learn about how to share. And then the last type of person or type three person is you're sitting here saying, I have no idea if I ever want to share with anybody. I have no idea if I'm interested in business. All I know is I need those, those oils in my hand as soon as possible. Well, that's great. Welcome. We can't wait to help you get started. You can get started online and you're going to get a link again from the person who referred you to the video. If not, um, it's Ashley Diet, Rachel Rhodes. You can find us on Facebook or you can find us. We'll make sure we put this video anywhere publicly. We put our email addresses as well. Um, find us. We'll help you get started at any of those three levels. And what I want to do right now is I want you to really think about this. You have accomplished a huge task. You've learned information. You've watched this whole video. And now you're ready to get started for yourself, for others, for your family. So thank you for being here with us. Um, I don't know if you want to add anything as we close. No, I just, I'm so glad that you guys decided to tune in. I know that once I made this step for my family, like the things that we have seen and experienced with these oils have been life-changing, literally life-changing. Yeah. Um, and, and it's rippled throughout my family and my friends. Um, so just think that through. And if you have any questions, ask the person that invited you. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.